Hello and welcome to this beginner end map tutorial uh, using Backtrack. Uh, this is, like I said, just a beginner tutorial just to get you used to end map. Uh, end map or network map is uh, a utility designed to scan uh, computer systems parts. Uh, it employs various techniques. It's a very robust system. Uh, it's constantly updated and well documented, so uh, you know you can read up about it and make sure you understand everything pretty much straight from Nmap itself. Now, as always, it's pre-installed in Backtrack, so we first just to utilize this tool, you know, you just type Nmap. And we'll have a quick look at the help file, which pretty much lists the kind of scans we can do. As you can see, there's quite a few, ranging from host discovery, scan techniques. These scan techniques I talked about on my blog, uh, which pretty much accompanies this video really so uh, head over to the blog, the links in the description and uh, have a quick read up on the theory and then this will make this a lot easier to understand so I mean you can have a read through these, take time to study it as well and just get used to the different you know type of scans it's capable of and everything else. Another way uh, which you can uh, Sorry. You can look at the manual page as well. There you go, which pretty much will uh, open the manual and uh, you can have a read through that. It's quite lengthy and uh, gives you an idea on example scans and everything, it's definitely worth a read and it also gets you familiar with the uh, you know with the tools now with that finished we'll, uh, we'll crack on and uh, we'll perform a few uh, a few basic scans So I've opened up an empty shell here. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to let Nmap do the work. And we're just going to punch in Nmap and the IP address of our said victim to see what information it brings back. And we'll let Nmap do the do the work. As you can see, Nmap there has returned us the results, uh, telling us 995 ports closed, and it's telling us the port state and the service of the ports that are open, uh, which you can quite clearly see 135, 139, 445, 514, and 912. Uh, these are all open. 514 is filtered, it tells you the service it's running as well. Now, Nmap doesn't scan all the ports, but you can actually scan the full range, 65,536 ports. Now, I'm not going to actually do all that because I'm running backtrack in a virtual um, station and it's, it'll take forever. But I'm just going to type out how you would go about doing this. So, use the P switch. And then obviously from one to six five five three five and then your victim. Sorry. Let's get it right. Just like so and you'd hit return and it'd scan all them parts for you. Now, the reason you, you'd want to do that is uh, Nmap could unearth some other services running on, on, on the system, you know, on the target, the victim, or 
the target could be running known services but could have them on different ports as opposed to the default ports and that way you see you um, you'd end up identifying or discovering maybe services that you couldn't see in the first place uh, I mean it's just a guessing game really you've got to think of as many searches as you can uh, to gather as much information as you can now the next simple nmap search we're going to do is to try and discover the operating system and this is just using O and the IP address As you can see, that didn't work as 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 I expected it to. We'll have another go at that. Right, we'll have another go at that. And this is just there, uh, as mentioned we'll try and identify what operating system uh, this IP address uh, machine is running and we'll let nmap do its work as you can see that's finished running its general guess it's come back with Apple Mac OS X 10.5 and 90% um, which is completely wrong um, but sometimes you might get them results another way we can try and guess the operating system uh, is by uh, using the OS fingerprint which is a minus A option this sometimes give us, gives us a, a few more reliable results so let's see what um, that gives us um, this is a great thing you know you've got to uh, give plenty of searches to get the right information and sometimes you don't get the right information so you know you've got to keep searching and ruling ruling different parts out so we'll fire that off and see what that gives us back. Right, the results have come back for this search, and again, it's not done a great, a great deal really. I mean, as you can see anyway from, from the parts it's found, Microsoft Windows XP, Microsoft DS, pretty much gives it away. Um, but if we scroll down a little bit um, you'll be able to see there we go so it's done it's found the NetBIOS name NetBIOS user MAC address operating system windows XP which is correct it's XP service pack 3 uh, workgroup anonymous which is correct and it's done a quick trace route uh, on the IP address as well now this can take quite a while but it does give you some good uh, clues sometimes now we'll just go on to a few of the basic scans quickly because this video is getting quite long now uh, what we're going to do is just a quick protocol scan and obviously this just identifies protocols on you know on the uh, the victim's IP address Oops. and there we go we can see we've got ICMP, TCP, UDP and GRE you know this this can give different results this is pretty much basically standard for uh, 
a Windows system, but you know, if you were doing a search on a router, maybe it'd be different because they use different protocols. Uh, that can help in the identification process, obviously, uh, when you're trying to identify uh, what kind of uh, IP address belongs to which kind of service and system. Uh, we'll just do a quick connect scan. Basically, this does exactly what it does. It connects to the uh, to the IP address. And all these different minus STs, minus Vs, and that. If you just go into Nmap, you know, dash H, you can look these up for yourself, and it'll pretty much tell you um, what you know, what kind of scan it's doing. And if you read the theory as well, that'll give you a good indication of of how it's doing it, which is very important. As you see, that scan gives us you know the same as just the normal discovery scan it's just a different way of doing it and it gives us the same results oops there we go again pressing the wrong buttons let's try that again there we go and just a, a verify services scan obviously does exactly what it says it verifies the services that are running on the victim And then we can see now that's finished. Um, it shows us obviously the version that's running on the services, so as you can see there, uh, IPC, XP, and the VMware authentication daemon running on nine one two. So that gives you, you know, the services. So you can use that, and obviously uh, check out some exploits. For these, uh, you know, for these service versions, and test them out. Scanning really, you know, all, it, it's all about exploration, and you've really got to get in there and uh, try loads of different combinations. You know, learn, you know, what successful and failed scans look like. You know, and and use other tools as well. I mean, my next tutorial is going to be on Netcat again the basics of scanning with Netcat and it'll just show you how another tool can give you another look on you this you know the same the same IP address. Uh, again this is a beginner tutorial on Nmap. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do read the theory at my blog as this will all make a little bit more sense. And I'll see you next time.